this video, we're going to look at the three ways to run the binding of Isaac repentance on Mac and finally settle what the best method is. Here's a spoiler. The best way is not native for Mac. Developers tragically stop supporting Mac after the Afterbirth Plus DLC, meaning you straight up can't play repentance natively on Mac. So that leaves us with Crossover 22 and Parallels 18 as our options. Let's check them out. So Repentance is not a graphics-heavy game. Both Parallels and Crossover will run it very well. So we'll be judging this based on input lag and simplicity when launching. So let's check out Parallels. I'm going to launch Windows, and then I'm going to go to my Steam. In my library, I'm going to search The Binding of Isaac. The Binding of Isaac Repentance shows up as The Binding of Isaac Rebirth in my Steam library. If I select it, you can see that down here it says Newly Acquired DLC has been automatically installed. So it's installed in Parallels. Let's see how easy it is to launch the game. Once I'm on my computer, I go down into my dock, I launch Parallels Desktop, and I hit the play button to launch the emulation of Windows. Once I'm logged in, I open Steam, go to my library, and launch. And as you can see, it launches Binding of Isaac Repentance. So let's jump into a game. So we're definitely getting close to 60 frames per second, but it's not as silky smooth as I'm used to when running Binding of Isaac Rebirth natively on Mac. I think there's slight lag in milliseconds from when I press my key to when Isaac moves, but it's hardly noticeable. Isaac is definitely completely playable on parallels, but if you really mean business when you're playing The Binding of Isaac, you might want to look into other options to get rid of that input lag. Overall, I'd give The Binding of Isaac performance an A- on Parallels 18. For crossover, we're going to assume that you already have crossover installed with a Steam bottle up and working. Once you're set up with your Steam bottle, you're going to double-click Steam to launch it. Once Steam is open, I'm going to go to my library and search Binding of Isaac. Again, it'll be listed as the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, but just make sure that the DLC has been added underneath. Once I hit Install, I'm going to make sure to create a desktop shortcut, and then I'm going to hit Next to download. Now that I have it installed in Crossover, let's see how easy it is to launch it. So I'm on my Mac desktop, I have to open Crossover, and then double-click the game. Under Advanced Settings, I have DXVK activated and CSMT activated as well. There's one more way to install the Binding of Isaac on Crossover, and that's if you have a .exe file without a game launcher like Steam or GOG. Open Crossover, go to your Steam bottle, click Run Command. Under Bottle, make sure it's Steam, hit Browse, and then find your Binding of Isaac folder. Open it and select the .exe file. Then hit Save Command as Launcher. Then hit run. So already I can tell all input lag is completely gone. This feels like I'm genuinely running it on my Mac. If Parallels was an A-, this is certainly an A+. There's no delay between the times that I press the keys and Isaac moves or shoots. Here's a side-by-side -side of The Binding of Isaac running in Crossover 22 and Parallels 18. Let me know in the comments what you think. Can you see a difference? So it's pretty clear that right now Crossover 22 is hands down the best way to run The Binding of Isaac Repentance on M1. Natively on Mac, you can't run Repentance at all. While on Parallels, it takes a few extra steps to launch, and there's definitely some input lag when in-game. Meanwhile, Crossover runs flawlessly, with no input lag whatsoever, and is quite simple to launch compared to Parallels. Definitely try to play Isaac through Crossover if you can. Thanks for watching.